Let's go, Jenna! Let's go, Amanda! Jenna versus Amanda. Bubbles versus Freckles. This is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a fight to the finish. Honestly, I think it was the first challenge. I think everyone was super worried about it. She knew she was with me, and I knew I was with Tony. But Nelson, who's taking charge of your whole entire side, is like out of control. Everyone being buddy buddy with one another, that's uh, coming to a screeching halt. The game has finally kicked in, and the reality of it is there's definitely alliances forming because people are starting to get scared a little bit. Why are you guys being so rude? Like, I'm confused. We're not being rude. rude. This challenge definitely showed whose friendships were real. Tony, Kayla, and Jenna, I'm glad that I find out your true color is better now than ever. At this point, I'm 100% Team Nelson. Y'all picked to choose off, but we picked to all stay together. All stay together. Okay. Nelson said from the from the top. It wasn't like that though. Like no, you could have come on our side. Jen and I are the black sheep right now. We picked to build a mound with our friends. It was a smart game move. So there's a rumor going around that before we even started filming, I kissed Bruno on the plane, which is not true. I'm crying just because I just want to be with Zach, and I'm nervous. I don't want anything getting back to Zach. It just looks bad. <laughs> You're so annoying. Women are strong, independent creatures who could do whatever they want. I probably have been perceived as a douchebag in the past, and um, I'm not really a douchebag, so I'm just trying to show that. Every day is don't be a douchebag. You get more wrinkles from being upset than you do from you? smiling. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you better not get too upset. You're going to get wrinkles. Sorry. I'm stressing out. Out of nowhere? No, I'm just stressed about the ever, just every situation. I... <laughs> so what are the situations? Let's talk through them. What are the situations? When you hear a rumor, it had to start from somewhere, and I don't want anything getting back to him that's not true. I just think that I should go to Zach and just tell him what everyone's talking about. You just don't want me to go in and then I know. I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind. I already lost my mind. Don't laugh. You're so mean. Things are being said and it's not. It's just annoying. Miss Amanda is the drum starter and she brought something up. What was she talking about? She said that me and Bruno hooked up. <laughs> the vegan? Hell no. And then I was nervous that I was gonna get back to you and you would've believed that. Why would I believe that? I can't get mad about anything that you've done. I, but I didn't. I know you didn't. Jenna cares about me so much that she doesn't want me to find that out. I mean, Jenna's not crying because of what someone said about her. She's crying because she has a real life connection with me and I might go home. You guys are all crazy. <sighs> don't. Don't, don't worry about it. I have a lot on my mind, and Zach is going into the fortress tonight. I don't want him to leave. He's starting to open up more and apologize and talk about things, and if he leaves, I mean, that's done. Corey, you're gonna be eliminating three guys. Jenna, you're gonna be eliminating three girls. Let's see how dirty you two really are. Jenna, who's the first girl that you're gonna eliminate? Uh, Amanda. No I think removing Amanda from the game this early was an amazing opportunity just because she really had it out for me last season on Invasion. She just kept making up these rumors, trying to really embarrass me and, you know, ruin my relationship between me and Zach. What? Can someone explain something? Okay, let's just like, explore a little more. I can't believe I'm walking into a second house right now. I'm supposed to be on a plane right now, and I can't even wrap my head around this. This is just, I can't even, like, it's not even registered. I can't even fathom. Oh my god, everyone that got eliminated must be here. I know they're kind of mad at me just because I sent them home the first challenge that we had. I'm thinking I'm in trouble. Oh yeah, people are here. Open it. So Amanda? <laughs> who is who this? Who is that? Latoya. Latoya? Everybody's here? A whole squad. What's up? Have y'all just been chilling? Yes. I don't really care for Jenna that much. Jenna was the person that sent me into the Redemption House to begin with. And now she's in the Redemption House with me, which is kind of karma. 
Let's go, Amanda! Let's go, Jenna! Let's go, Amanda! Jenna versus Amanda. Bubbles versus Freckles. This is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a fight to the finish. All right, Jenna, Amanda, whoever wins this, staying in the game. Whoever loses, goes home. You girls ready? She may take my place in the house, and that is not happening. I'm sending her home. There's just no way I'm gonna be able to roll her big ass off of the thing. I'm getting completely gassed out. I'm using every muscle I have in my body, and I think she's using that to her advantage. I'm really hoping that Jenna comes back into this house because I feel so guilty about her being in this situation, but I'm worried about it because there's some serious damage control that I'm gonna have to do. All we can do is hope Amanda keeps those cute little legs strapped around Jenna. She's a scrappy thing. That girl ain't giving up. She's been through hell and look at her. She's still strong. Come on, Amanda, you got this. I don't care if they both stand on that platform all day long. Jenna cannot allow Amanda to win this. Kick off the wall, use your Jenna, legs! Jenna, there Whoa. you go! I want Amanda to win because I just voted Jenna in. I don't want her back in the house. Amanda, if you win this and beat Jenna, I will buy you all the drinks the next time we go out and maybe even defend you when Camilla comes for you. Use your legs against that wall! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jenna. That's good, Jenna, that's good! Jenna's got a big head, so I latch my legs around her neck. This is the Dirty 30. I'm gonna get my way back into the game no matter how or what I do. Rotate your hips back around and get your feet on the There you go, you got it! this money bad and I'm gonna prove it. Jenna's getting tired. She can't breathe. She's getting red. She's sweating. And she just basically has the whole entire crowd on her side. But we all know I love my haters, so the more haters makes me better. This is my chance. She's at the ledge. I have her in a great position and I just start kicking and kicking and kicking. Barbie Beast, she's back. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenna is back. Amanda, you tweeted to the world that you were dropping a bomb at this reunion. Well, here we are. Oh. <laughs> you put it out there for everybody. We're waiting for it. In the moment that I tweeted that, I was super heated. And I wanted to expose something that I don't think I should expose today. I think that it would ruin someone's relationship and life. If the people involved want to eventually talk about it in private, I will do so. You just really don't like me, and you're trying you to start between us two. Oh, but this has nothing to do with no, you. No, I don't want you to just do shut it. the. I don't want you to say it. But I'm saying this it's has nothing to do with you. you. Sit back. Sit back. When I go in here and I argue with everybody by myself. Hey, are you cool? Just going to bed. Hey, don't <laughs> Jenna decides to come in my ear. Mistake. When you put yourself in the position to argue with me, be ready for the bullets to be coming 100 miles an hour. I never talked about none of y'all until you just came out yes, and you said. Did. You were just about to drop a bomb on the reunion. Everything that comes out of your mouth is life. Everyone's sick of it. Well, why don't you say it while we're all here? Zach and Amanda did not get along last season. Right now, she hates Zach, she hates me. So that's a common enemy, so they can just go after us and not care. Newsflash, Jenna, Zach was on Bumble when we got eliminated. You're the liar. <gasps> oh, hey, yeah, okay. Because he's in this hotel room? Yeah, yes, he showed me and Devon. Ask Devon. Okay. I don't give a
give a damn about nobody else. Take my ass right back in my room, and I mind my damn business. Okay, I'm not Jenna deserves all the love in the world that she gives to everybody else, and it really like breaks my heart. Her being my friend and just seeing her in the situation that she's in. That's what it's like to be a winner, huh? Right. Special treatment. It's beautiful. I want to start this thing. I'd like to say well done, everyone, honestly, for winning. And let's get down to business. Jenna has reasons to pick a team, not only for game purposes, but for things that are bigger than just this game. Amanda has came for her on multiple different occasions and tried to ruin her relationship. And so for that reason, me and her are going to pick Josh and Amanda. Me and Amanda have past history. Everyone knows that. She doesn't like my boyfriend, Zach. Zach's attached to me, so it's an easy vote. It was intense in there. It was very intense. I'm like a big baby. I'll always get my own way. Wah! I'm a baby. Wah! I wonder if my name's going to be on there. So who is it? It's us. Holly, the Jen Cam and Josh and I are nominated, and I feel like Gus and Jenna have this stupid power trip, and I are gonna try and take out personal vendettas when there's way bigger targets they should be gunning for. You guys are so plain Jane losers. So I guess my confusion is why didn't you put in Car and Theo when that's who Zach was going for? Would you rather me? Would you rather me call Hunter down here than you? I don't give a f who there you was call two other teams that I can And that's what everyone keeps confusing. I'm playing my game. What's good for me? I need you guys to come together at some point. Have that conversation. It's beneficial for Jenna, even if she doesn't like Amanda, to just kind of forgive and forget for now. I feel like the UK alliance is so strong. And if we all don't come together, they are just going to pick us off one by one, and they are going to get to the end. When Zach was on Bumble, I should have told you before. Do we have differences? Yes. But if Zach were here, what would he want you to do? Go for Kara. Why would she not want to get out the girl that was gunning for her boyfriend and gunning for her to get her out? Especially with Kara, because Kara is teamed up with Theo, who has all the UK people on his side. So, like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Because she not only disrespected you, she disrespected him and sent him home. Amanda is Jenna's biggest enemy in this house. So if anybody puts any faith into anything Amanda says ever, you're an idiot. But I have to get them out. Otherwise, they're going to come for you or me. Yeah? Yep. It is convenient timing because I have not said one word to Amanda all season. I don't know if she's being honest or just trying to avoid elimination at this point. I'm a very good judge of character, and I believe her. All right, guys, welcome back to the killing floor for tonight's elimination round. Woo! Tribunal, you guys had to nominate three teams. And now, you gotta choose one of those teams to come onto the killing floor with me and fight for their right to stay in the game. Jenna. Um, okay, so I actually spoke to Amanda the first time since I've actually been here, and I appreciate the conversation. But right now, me and Gus, the best for our game is to vote them. So Josh and Amanda. Amanda, I'm going to do what's best for my game, and that's that. Gus. I don't want to put anybody in, but that's not how this game works. And so the best decision for our game right now is for Josh and Amanda. Wes. We're going with Josh and Amanda. Even though Ashley is in the UK Alliance, I'm gonna change my vote to Josh and Amanda, which one might say, does that make an enemy out of, of Josh and Amanda towards me? No, it doesn't. I'm going to blame the fact that Jenna is a real vendetta with Amanda. So I am just this, this victim in this situation. I'll just puppy dog eye my way to the end. D. I have to back up my partner, TJ, and my vote is for Josh and Amanda. So Josh and Amanda, you guys are on the killing floor tonight. Come on down. So Josh and Amanda. It's all about precision. 
Concentration. Ashley and Cam, all you have to do is make it past that point. They didn't make it all the way to the end, and now wherever their pole is, that's the notch that we have to beat. So we're gonna take our time and have no room for errors. <laughs> Keep on amazing. I have never been so disappointed. All I can do is hope that Cam and Ashley slip or make a mistake. You got it. So I'm just praying that they don't make it as far as we did. The team UK Alliance is stronger than ever. We are not going nowhere. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! Not today, Satan! Be gone! Safe travels, Josh and Amanda! Good job. Where'd you go? I'm sad for Josh and Amanda. I love Josh, I love Amanda. No one loves her, but I love her. <laughs> you guys, great battle. That is how an elimination is done. Goodbye. Josh and Amanda, you guys started off so strong. Unfortunately, this ends your time here on The Challenge. Hopefully, we'll see you in the future. Bye. I'm proud of you. Don't cry. <laughs> I love this girl so much. You're good. I would not trade Amanda <laughs> for anyone in that house. Best friends for life. <laughs> you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Amanda's loyalty to Hunter ignited one of her other long-standing rivalries, her hatred for Zach. She dropped a bomb on his relationship with Jenna. Take a look. I never talked about none of y'all until you just came out yes, and you said you, you were just about to drop a bomb on the reunion. Everything that comes out of your mouth is life. Everyone's sick of it. Newsflash, Jenna, Zach was on Bumble when we got eliminated. You're the liar. Amanda, you threatened to drop this bomb for a while. Why did you decide to drop it in that moment? Me and Zach were arguing about me going in, and Jenna was trying to step up. And I'm like, Jenna, don't 
step up right now. This has nothing to do with you. Sit the f back. You can't expect to come at me and think that I'm not gonna talk some f I didn't just randomly go off on you. You walked up and you were standing in front of me and Zach and you said, get the f out of my way. So I said, Amanda, calm down. And then you said, I'm not even f coming after you. So I didn't come after you out of nowhere. No, that's not true. Why does she hate you? Can you ask her? Because I don't I don't know. hate Jenna, but at the end of the day, you can't sit there and play victim and talk about me over and over and over but and over and over I again. And then I don't like you. That just, no. It just doesn't work like that. Right. I don't care and who I you don't, are. I don't get along with you either, so I don't talk to you, and I keep my distance, uh, and I don't you tweet me about Twitter, you, and I don't yeah. go on lives and have my friends go on lives and <laughs> That <laughs> gets sent to me all the time. So you do I, Jenna? Welcome to reality But TV. hey, Amanda, I don't go out of my way and I That's what I'm saying. Day. You're drowning You're in paranoia. Every time I tweet, you personally message me. Because like, why are you talking about me? Up, Amanda. I wasn't even talking about you. So. How is your relationship with Zach today? Oh, we're honestly in like the best place. I embarrass her and I love her and I've been sick about it and we've worked through it and I'm really lucky that she chose to stay with me Aww. and is with he me. He loves Good her. man. Good man.